Radio, great tense. Uh, let's uh, get going here on our pat. This is the EGD pat for grade 10. This is the one that uh, you guys are busy with. Now, you've finished up to this point, and my previous lesson actually detailed how exactly you would come up with this floor plan. Are you right? Okay. So, once you've done this, you're going to indicate a cutting plane that goes through it, and it must go through an external wall and an internal wall so the positioning of that needs to be in a place where you cut through it and you'll indicate that clearly um, and you're also going to have a north arrow on your plan right or no okay so if you guys are in my class you need to just have a look here please otherwise i'm going to say hashtag and i'm going to give you a name all right all right let's have a look on screen so there's a north arrow so if i look at this floor pla plan which elevation will be what I will see from the north? Will it be this end here where I just see one window in this example? Will it be from this end where I see two windows and a doorway? Will it be from this end or that end if, I, if the north arrow is pointing in that direction? There you can see it clearly pointing in that direction. So which elevation will I draw when I draw the north elevation? A or B? Will I draw what I, I'm looking in the direction of north, what I see here, is that what I'll draw? Or is it the two windows and the door? This is A or B, which one you choose? I've got B's, I've got B's, do I have any A's? A's, any A's, A's, I've got one A, one A in the class, one A, two A's, two A's. Should I put on the comments and see what they say? The correct answer, people, is A. Okay, if I'm looking in the northern direction, I'm looking in this direction, okay, this elevation is facing north. It is the north elevation. Yes, I'm going to stand here and I'm going to look south, but I'm looking at what elevation? I'm looking at the elevation that's pointing north. Yes or no? Okay, so please remember it because you confuse yourself a lot. If I'm looking north, north arrow, okay, I have to go stand in the north and then look at the house. And it's that elevation that I'm going to draw. Yes or no? Yes. So if I ask you now, which one is the north elevation? Two windows and a door, which we will call A, or just a wall with one window if direction north is pointing that way? A or B? A. Okay. North elevation is the elevation that's on the northern side. And I'm going to stand in the garden, I'm looking at it, and what I see. So... Um, all right. If I then choose to draw an uh, eastern elevation, it will be on this north, south, east. So I'll come stand in the garden and look at this side. And kijk gauw so now met cake. If I stand in the east, I've got a sliding door and I've got a window. Will the sliding door be on my right hand side or my left hand side? If I draw the, the eastern elevation, if I'm standing here, I'm looking towards the house. Will this sliding door be on my right or on my left? And on the right. Does that make sense to you? Okay. So when I draw that elevation, so I'm going to show you a couple of examples here. The first one is the requirements for the sectional elevation. Okay, so if I page around, oh sorry, maybe let me show. They've done it. Um, yeah, let's do the sectional elevation first. So sectional elevation through the outer wall, through the inner wall, through the outer wall again. For grade grade ten, you only need to draw up till knee height or ankle height. Okay, so you've all done this traditional external wall external wall and two internal walls non-load bearing walls okay? so they are 110 outside 220 okay um, there's missing on this one a dpc line here and a dpc line they've done the abbreviation but they forgot that you've got your finished floor level you've got your foundation detail understep soil compacted fill concrete with a screed on and a finished floor level all right if you look at this section let's check if this was right um, so I'm looking in the direction of my arrows. Uh, the student cut through a internal wall and another internal wall. There's a doorway, but that's still a wall. So was, is this a section of elevation drawn correctly? Look at where I'm going to stand and I'm going to look in the direction. I'm looking on this way. Do you agree with me that those two walls should have been more to the left hand side? Yeah. I have to use the same. I'm going to use the same measurement. So I'm going to literally take, you can take a ruler like this, and this is what I used to do. I'm going to take my pencil, and I'll mark the, 
I'll, I'll make sure I'm looking in the direction of those arrows, and I'll actually go down and I'll mark those walls on here. And then I go here, and when I, I can just copy those, and so there would have been the actual two walls. They're still correct. So those would have just been there. Does that make sense to you? Okay. Any questions on the section of elevation? You have the, drawn this multiple times. There's no reason for you not to do it. Okay. Um, yes or no? Happy. All right. Then the, the two elevations, you can pick which ones, but uh, let's take north and east in this case. All right. So if I draw the northern elevation then, let me just zoom in here a little bit so you can see a bit clearer. You are grade 10, so you're going to have your natural ground line. You're going to have your finished floor level. You're going to have steps, of course, going from the outside or from inside outside. A door frame. Don't have to put the handle there. And you have your windows, like we've taught it you, with the hinge sides and the opening side indicator. That's a fixed panel, yes or no? All right. What's this here at the bottom? Window sill. Can you forget that window sill? No. no. All right. And then on top here, you guys don't do a roof. It's only grade 12s that do a roof. But can I ask you to do a kama kama roof? Just do your own roof because are you going to build your house one day without a roof? No. So I'm not going to give you marks for the roof, but put the roof on. Then I have an idea of what you plan. Maybe you did a pitch roof. Maybe you did a slot angled roof. Maybe you were very creative. Okay, just put some, some roof on your actual drawing so that I see. Otherwise, at least do a brake line here so that I know... Uh, you know that it, there is still a roof, but you haven't drawn. That's also fine. But giving marks, I'm only marking up to this line, so you don't have to worry about getting it wrong. So either leave it, but then have a brake line, or draw it fully. There was the, she did the west elevation, the student. So again, if we look at the west elevation, make sure here. So let's see if they got it right. Small window on the right hand side, big window on the left hand side. If we go back here, if I look at it, there it is, small window on the right, bigger window, so that one is drawn, correct. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, and then please make sure you label these elevations, west elevation, north elevation. Right here, and of course this entire page has a beautiful border all around it, let me zoom out for you. Alright, so a border and the title block at the bottom, which I've already prepared for you. Alright, so that's your elevations and then your floor plan make sure you've shown the cutting line the cutting plane there and then also your sectional elevation and that is all that i require from you happy radio thank you for watching